Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is an awesome day. I'm appreciating you guys' support. I'm excited to have Jamie on in a bit. And before we get started, uh, for those of you watching later on, you know, thank you guys for supporting. Thank you for um, just continuing to support our education platform. I'm really grateful for all your support. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey. So before I get Jamie on here, I, um, I want to talk to you guys about you know, sleeping and sleep for a second, right? So check this out. The nighttime soft gels, it's full spectrum hemp extract, plus natural adaptogens, plus a terpene mix, right? This one has 1,500 milligrams of CBD in here, 30 soft gels, and each soft gel has 50 milligrams, right? And so the reason why I have this right here is for me, um, I'm in a lot of pain. Like right now, my hands are on fire. Um, my hand, it's like, it's too, as the weather changes, so right, like in October to about March, maybe April, I'm in a lot of pain because of the weather. And so I take a lot of CBD uh, at nighttime, I tend to um, consume THC a lot, right? To help me like relieve and just like zone out so I don't have to deal with the pain. And so I say all this because one of the things about taking THC um, in the evening time, sometimes I end up in the morning feeling a little groggy, um, you know, just, I don't like the way I feel, right? So by taking CBD overnight it actually helps me, right? And this is something I've noticed over my journey over the last six years of just reviewing products. And so, you may ask me why do I like taking CBD at night? I take CBD at night because of the mitochondria activity. So back in you know, high school, we learned that mitochondria is the powerhouse you know, of the cell, right? That's what helps um, clean up all the free radicals, antioxidants. It helps us recover overnight to the next day. And so CBD right, has been shown to function as a protective molecule for these organelles, right? Um, it enables the mitochondria to maintain the function in spite of the presence of free radicals, right? And we know for a fact that CBD itself is an antioxidant. So you gotta remember that um, at nighttime, our body is basically recharging itself. And so having CBD overnight is a good way to help. All right, all right. So recommend, let me get Jimmy on here. So I recommend nice products. I've been trying this since the um, beginning of our journey, and I'm really grateful. Jamie, how are you doing? Hi. Yes, yes, yes. I'm happy. I'm really happy to see you. How are you doing? Me too, because our first ever conversation was on the phone, right? I mean, I had seen your Instagram, so I knew what you looked like. But this is our first, like, actually call, you know, or, or video, anything ever. So I'm excited to be here and to, like, be full circle with, with our story. Yes, yes, yes. So those of you who don't know, um, I connect with Jimmy. Yeah, it's been two years ago, right? The, um, the fall, two years ago, I was in San Diego and Jamie needed some help. Um, so I gave her some, a lot of good advice. And um, Jamie was on the verge of going to a different place with another company. And so she followed my recommendation and two years now she's here. And it's so wonderful because for me, um, I love the journey that you've been through. Um, I remember this all happened right before COVID. Um, and I'm really excited to just talk to you a little bit. So can you introduce yourself to everybody, let them know who you are, what you do, et cetera, et cetera? Yes. So thank you again for having me. Super excited to just share the story. Um, thank you, everyone that's joining and, and wanting to learn and listen in. Um, so my name is Jamie Alexander Galvez. I am the founder and CEO of Hustle & Flow, which is a CBD lifestyle wellness brand. Um, what does that mean? That means that we have carefully built a brand, as Vevin just said, over the past two years behind the scenes. Uh, we launched about six weeks ago with four ingestible products, high quality products. Thanks to Bevan because he actually connected us to our partners. Um, and so our idea is to offer more than just, uh, more than CBD, right? We want to be able to really make a human connection by promoting the stories of real life people, collaborating with brands, artists, both music and visual, sourcing from farms like Tricona Farms. Um, you know, sustainability, social a a aspect, their impact. It's a holistic system that we really spent the last two years 
building, sourcing, connecting, learning. And obviously, I mean, this journey just started for us. So i um, excited to just continue to connect and learn from people like yourself. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks for sharing. Uh, it's, man, it's, it's a wonderful story for me. Um, just being able to help brands, you know, at least from the beginning to see how they're, they're, they're fruitful they get over the years. It's an amazing blessing because I can always say, hey, I was a part of something great. Um, can you share with everybody why got you into to CBD? Sure. So uh, long story short, I, I come from actually the pharmaceutical industry, right? I used to do sales for them. And I did very well, and I didn't do much, right? Because I like to connect, I like to talk to people. So my premise was always just have it, building a natural connection, and then the product will sell on its own. Um, and then in 2013, I just became disenchanted, and I felt that I needed to do something more, something bigger, something that was mine, right? So I went into interior design in 2013 with my own company, Creative. I like the creative aspect of interior design. Quickly, though, into that, um, they were, my clients were very happy with my work. But the one thing that stood out was, this makes me feel good, the space, the clients. It's just like that feel-good effect. And I kept thinking, like, oh, my gosh, what can I sell that makes people feel good? Something natural, right? Because I've always been an advocate for wellness. Then in 2015, um, I actually had my first uh, anxiety attack ever. I had been lucky enough that I never experienced one until my 30s. Uh, and it was terrible. And I had a really tough year that was like a life-changing moment. I went into a depression mode. And I had never really experienced those feelings before or those symptoms. So I started digging more into different modalities of how to manage my stress in my anxiety right at that point now that I was living with it. And I started doing more things, breath work, personal development, you know, all the holistic things. But now at that point, I started having weak spread I didn't sleep or stressful, like the anxiety will start to kick in now more often. And in 2018, I was having like three weeks where I couldn't sleep and a friend of mine came from Colombia and said, take CBD. And I had heard of CBD before lightly, you know, in the Northeast, it wasn't federally legal yet. So I started taking it and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, it doesn't make me groggy. Like, it makes me feel good. And I said, this is it. This is what I want to build and sell. Quality CBD, because I believe in it, because I use it, there's conviction is, you know, I started doing the research. Soon after that, uh, maybe a year after that is when I connected with you and I started learning more. Um, so for me, it's, it's really believing in what I'm representing, right, as far as the brand and the products. And that's how really the journey began. Nice. Thank you. Have you noticed any difference now um, on your journey of taking CBD personally to how you was when you first started? I know for me, um, it took me about six months to really feel the, the effects of what it did for my anxiety. And even today, I, I tell I'm a totally different person than when I was, you know, six years ago. So, like, how has it been for you on that constant journey of taking CBD? Totally. So, I mean, I've obviously, it's, it's a, it's, life is an evolution, product, try, like, everything is an evolution. So, for me, I've, because I've learned so much, I understand that it's quality really over everything, right? And while I, I tried a number of CBD brands in the past initially, um, some of them were um, no, they were broad spectrum, so no THC in them. And I noticed the difference between obviously full spectrum CBD versus broad spectrum. And I now I understand the benefits of having full spectrum. Hence why, if you remember correctly, like I remember telling you, oh, I want to go with broad spectrum. And you know, I, what I loved about you is that you never were biased to anything. You always felt like whatever you feel is right, right? And that is like, it was like therapy. You know, when you go to a therapist, it's like, mm -hmm. you're not your problems you just hear yourself a lot and then you make your decisions and you make changes um and so that's what the more that i learned and the more that i started experimenting i said you know what full spectrum has way better benefits or, or different better benefits in my experience um and so now for me uh the experience is is full spectrum i know that i've tried other products right full spectrum that i've been given samples and like yeah it doesn't work the same some work just as well um, but that's why we were so, so careful with the soft gel formulas, particularly to formulate something that gave a lot of value to the consumer and, and wellness advocates overall. 
Yeah, it's amazing. And uh, the difference when you take CBD isolate by itself and you graduate to broad spectrum or full spectrum, you see the difference. And like you said, um, you have to make sure you find quality products, quality medication from others um, when you're taking it, right? And it, once you find somebody who's works really well, um, especially like if you get into um, buying hustle and flow, you continue to do that. A question came in says uh, from Exceed 454. Right. So, in what form do you take it for your CBD? What form of um, like you take soft gels, you take tinctures? Like, what do you do for your anxiety? Sure. For me personally, um, so I take the nighttime soft gel that you have almost every night. That's like my, you know, I take it every night. And then during the day, yes, those. <laughs> and then during the day, I tend to do the spray. And if I do have, if I know like this week, and you know, I'll be very transparent with you. Like this week has been one of those weeks. It's like. What is happening? Why do I wake up like this, right? So today, this morning, I got into the office and I sprayed. Um, there are times where I take the soft gel. So it, it's a variety and it just depends on the onset and how I'm feeling, right? And, and it's, it's a number of things that I do. Like I also, I think I want to be very transparent in the sense that CBD helps. It naturally, chemically, and scientifically helps. However, we also get to do additional things to help manage anxiety and stress, right? So this morning, the whole time I'm getting ready, I'm listening to meditations, you know, and affirmations because it helps. And then I'm breathing as I'm driving and then I get here and I didn't have a spray with me at home, so I took it here. And then I felt a whole lot better, right? It's, you just gotta do a combination of things because it's, it's like you don't wanna just put a band-aid or something. You wanna adapt different lifestyle habits. That's amazing. Uh, and I'm so glad you mentioned that because when I talk to people, I'll tell them, hey, it's not just CBD. It's all about your mindset. You got to get rid of negative people, negative food, negative you know, TV, things like that to help you become better. Because like you said, you're just taking something like a bandage and then you still continue that cycle of you know, whatever it is causing the issues that you're with. You have to be able to um, you know, help yourself more than just taking CBD. Wow, there's some good questions here. If that's the biggest issue is quality. Most CBD available isn't quality just for money. So it's good to see brands like this doing for passion. That's awesome. Right? That is so true. That is so true. That's why I love um, like what I do and being able to talk to like Jamie and others is find people who really are all about it. And Jamie, you could have taken, you could have done this like uh, a year or two ago just to make money, but you decided to wait, you know, take your time and do it right. And so how has that been for you, that process for the last two years you know, connecting with um, Brittany and them over there at the farm. How has that process the last two years been for you? Can you share some wisdom for those of us who want to get in the industry? Um, and um, and then for, like, you know, for me, I, I love sharing because customers and consumers, right, they need to, like, build up um, that connection with a brand, right? So can you just share, like, how the process has been for you? Sure, yeah. So it's been um, one thing that I'll say, right? This is this is a, a journey, right? It's not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? It's, you know, like babies, right? They, they crawl and then they walk and then they run, right? Like they go, and it's the same, same process for if you want to be diligent and you want to represent something with passion and conviction behind it. So the process has been um, exciting and also exhausting at times, right? Because there's so many pieces. And as as a small business, self-funded, right? I don't I don't come from a hedge fund family or anything. There's also limitations, right? And that that also allows it, it takes a little bit longer. And like for us, we wanted to do we actually we wanted to do zero plastic. Even sourcing packaging on its own is a, is a process, is a long process because there's high quantities that you have to meet. And, you know, when you're a small company starting out, you can't order 100,000 tins, right? However, I have to say that if there's a will, there's a way. We found a way to be nearly plastic free with all of our packaging, you know, and that was really important to us. Um, the journey has been really incredible. I think I remember November of two years ago, two years ago. Um, you know, I was very conflicted. I had spent so much time uh, researching. Bevan never again, he was never biased about my decision of who I was going to partner with. But it, I knew, right? It was like at that gut feeling. I'm like, oh, these people are just not for me. This is not the way I want to do things. And then I said, no, screw it. I'm not partnering up with them. And it was Thanksgiving week. And I was so disheartened because I'm like, I just wasted like eight months of my life and I don't know what to do. And I 
hard it, I don't know. And, and Bevan said, things happen for a reason. Be calm, we got you. Um, so I'll be forever grateful to you, Bevan, because, and, and I wanna share with anyone, um, yes, I did pay Bevan for a few consultations, However, what I paid for the few three, four consultations does not amount to all the times that we spoke, the messages, right? It was just like a genuine connection of, of someone trying to help someone like me who really want to do things the right way. Um, and so fast forward, you know, we, we get into, you introduce us to, to Brittany and Tricola Farms in March of the following year, so last year, and we started and they have, so, so what I said to Bevan when I came in was, I don't want to be treated as a number by any of our partners, packaging, manufacturing, nothing. I don't like to be treated as a number. And Brittany and, and the whole Tricola family treats us like family, like mentors, right? I mean, she's been incredible. Her and Eric, the, the, her mom, Susan, like they really, um, I, they're so aspirational, right? They've done so well in such a short time because because they're doing things again. Not it wasn't just a money gold rush. It was like we want to be able to build these programs to help. Um, you know, for Brittany, she's a woman in the industry, and so she wanted to help people like her because it's been so challenging, right? Um, so the journey has been really incredible, and 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 when people listen to us or experience our products or experience even just the visuals on Instagram, they start to connect with the brand in a way that that's exactly what I what I was envisioning, right? When I did sales, it was very easy because you get to talk to someone, right? And it's like, oh, we get this connection, but I'm like, how do we take that and translate it online, which is is very challenging. It's not the same. However, as for building, it's it's is apparent and we're getting amazing feedback. Awesome, that's awesome. Yes, and uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I've been helping Jamie over the years, you know, for years of you watching that without money, like, cause you know, after everything, you know, she started doing the process, it was just, for me, I'm just love helping. And so I'm glad that you're able to you know, be here. I'm glad everything worked out for you. Um, can you share a little bit about the different products that you have and, what, and then also which one's your favorite? Yeah, so I brought him, and I know when I put him on the camera, they, they read backwards. But um, so I'll start with, you know, we have the pre-roll, which is, uh, and everything at Tricola Farm is certified or premium organic, hand harvested hemp flower, you know, all the good stuff. So we have the single pre-roll. Um, this is, it comes in one and then the four pack, right? So this is the packaging for the four pack. Then we have, I love the pre-roll, like, just like in social settings or when maybe I'm home once in a while, I just come home and I want to sit on my sofa and smoke. I'm not a big smoker, but occasionally I do smoke. And it's and the beauty of the pre-roll is that, as you know, like the, the delivery, the onset is immediate, right? You feel the calmness immediately because it goes into your bloodstream. Um, then we have the spray. The spray has been a favorite. This is the packaging. It's a 10 ml bottle. Um, and it is 800 milligrams of CBD in this little bottle, all glass, right? Same with, with this, it's all glass, and this is aluminum. So aluminum and glass is infinitely recyclable, as you know. The only plastic is this here on the cap. We recommend three sprays uh, under the tongue so that it works similarly as the tincture. Uh, and then you get 24 milligrams for three sprays, right? It's a powerful dose because I've seen sprays, Bevan, and I'm sure you've seen them too. The other day I saw a spray, the entire bottle has 52 milligrams of CBD. And I'm like, they're robbing people, like robbing people if that's, but you know, consumers are not aware, right? And, and if they're buying only based on price, they're like, oh, this one's cheaper, so let me get it. Um, then we have the nighttime soft gels, which is sleep, they sleep on it, right? Uh, which Bevan, like I love to like obviously hear your experience. I know you've given us incredible feedback. So the soft gels are our propri proprietary blend. We created these formulas uh, with Bardot and Tricola, uh, with their scientists, and we wanted to create powerful formulas, one for day and one for night. So we have clear the noise and sleep on it. They each have 50 milligrams of CBD per soft gel. And then we added different adaptogens to each formula. So this one has Shisandra and Mikuna Purians and a, and a special terpene mix. And this one has Ashwagandha and a, a different terpene mix. So for me, this is my favorite at night. 
Um, and then during the day, the spray is, is, is my favorite. Now, when I have moments where like I need a little bit more, then I go for the sub gels immediately. Nice. And so you just said something. So ashwagandha, for those of you who don't know, is really great for um, anxiety and depression. Um, and Brittany, one of our products was one of the best I ever tried. So I'm glad that she connected, got you um, on that. So yeah, that's like amazing. Um, yeah. Um, so which, which of those do you think is, um, has you gotten the most positive feedback from people so far? Uh, so far, the number one is to sleep on it, right? Because a lot of us uh, tend to have trouble sleeping. And so that's number one. The second one is the four pack pre-rolls. People love the pre-rolls. And then the third one is the spray. So those are the three that are like getting the most, uh, the higher sales. Cool. Um, somebody asked, it's just messed me, Steph. Do they contain um, terpenes for pain relief? Yes. Uh, they do. Um, I mean, there, there are about 30 plus terpenes in each formula, right? Um, so that we were carefully, like, again, the whole Bardot team, we sat, we created different variant formulas, and then we tested them, right? You were, you were one of them. We, we tested them to different people that had never tried CBD, that knew about CBD, that were newcomers, like younger, you know, different demographics, 20, 50, Los Angeles, New York, like we wanted honest feedback based on a number of different people that were all that all experience stress and obviously anxiety comes from stress um and so yeah so long answer uh you know <laughs> sure yes it does the stress relief pain relief um i mean a number of magical benefits to each formula nice somebody asked what about weight loss <laughs> <laughs> i mean we you know, as, as you know, Bevan, right, we can't make any claims, right? We're not allowed to technically make any medical claims. That's just, yeah. <laughs> so I can't say that, yeah, it's going to help you. CBD does, is one of the benefits, um, but we can't technically tell you that, you know, you're going to lose weight if you take our products. Um, what I'll say to that, um, I'll say I'll have to this. I, I know what that is. Um, CBD is, looks to be a... Um, you know how TAC makes you give you the munchies, right? CBD kind of does the, the um, opposite effect. And that's something I learned over the years as I've been doing it, right? And one thing I can say is when I'm on CBD like all day long, um, I don't think about the hunger, you know, the hunger like I have, you know, um, just on a normal basis. So um, that's what we see. Um, but um, Kia, you can talk to me about that later. <laughs> I'll help you on, on, on that. But um, yeah, CBD works wonderful for, um, for a lot of issues. Uh, you're welcome, Steph. You're welcome. So before we leave, um, Jamie, um, I'd like to give something away. Can we, let's give somebody away, right? Um, so let's see who we have in here. All right. So um, if somebody can, the first person can say how long Jamie and I have known each other, you'll get something from that from Jamie. And um, yeah. And while they're doing that, uh, so um, where are you going from now, Jamie? Like what's, what's coming up for you over the next um, couple of months? Sure. So we just started doing our holiday prep, which is we're probably late into it. <laughs> but, you know, we just started. So so we just got to do one thing at a time. It's a tiny team. It's me and then um, our co-founder. Right. Um, but we're really excited to do. So one of the things that we we've always wanted to do is spotlighting. Right. Real people and their story on our social media that we, we can then link a story to our blog. Um, and so we're going to do we're going to start doing that in the new year, just because right now the year is going to end holiday trying to just keep up with everything. But that's really something really exciting. We also have another thing that was really big for us is how do we do limited edition drops in collaboration with artists. Right. Nice. And so we already have our first collab ready to go. However, because we just launched, because it's holiday, we're just gonna time it a bit different. So we'll drop it next year. It's re and the way and the reason why we wanted to do this is because you know New York City is it's, it's very artful, right? I mean, you could walk down the street of Brooklyn and there's art everywhere. And so we wanted to do a collective movement where where we partner up with up and coming artists, right? They, they don't have to be established, you know, two hundred thousand followers on Instagram up and coming artists where this is this is how we build community we grow you grow and then we continue to expand 
Um, and the other thing we're excited about is also just having the brand being represented on a number of retailers, right, Acro across the nation, really. Uh, retailers that are known for wellness boutiques, per, you know, that they take pride in educating the consumer. Um, we've always said, like, we, I, I mean, I know never say never, but I, I don't see our brand ever being a, like Walmart. That's just not where we're ever going to go. <laughs> Right? It's, it's not, um, it's just not a goal. We're, we're different. We're built differently. And, and so, yeah, so those are some of the things that we're really excited about. And, and holidays, right? The holidays are coming up. CBD is a great gift. We offer um, gift cards as well on our website if someone's like not sure what they should gift a friend or a family member. So, yeah. Awesome. I'm, I'm really excited for that collaboration. Uh, it's, you know, this is a thing that a lot of us tend to forget that as we build things, we have to work with each other as a community and reach people. I'll tell like, you know, go to places where nobody else is doing what you're doing because those people have a different audience that you don't have and like and vice versa. And you can build and take that you know, relationships long term. Right? We see it happens a lot. Um, so let's see here. Nobody got it right, but Steph got it closest. It was two years. So Steph. Um, it's just me, Steph. Please uh, send Hustle and Flow a DM with your information. Jamie hook you up with something nice for the holidays. Um, Jamie, go to Range Me. Um, R A N G E M E is a platform you can use to um, see if you get into like CVS and all the drugstores like that. And if you need any like advice on that, I'll be able to help you with that. Um, you know. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh... Uh, I can't hear you. There we go. Just curious, why I guess, are you from the Caribbean Islands? Yes, I'm from Grenada in the West Indies. I um, <laughs> got a heavy accent, so. Um, but I, I have an accent too, so I was surprised that it, it wasn't asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from, I, was, uh, I was born and raised, well, not raised fully, but like six years in the Caribbean. So it's been a um, wonderful blessing being here. Um, I, can I remember I, I was born in Venezuela, so it's like, you know. Right there, yep, it's like. But 200 miles, 200 miles from Grenada to Venice, yeah, right? 200 miles. And that was funny too because I was looking it up. Uh, but last week, I was trying to find the exact mileage because people keep asking me and I couldn't like give them the, the exact miles. But it's like 189, 200 miles uh, from Venezuela to Grenada. Um, so, hey, see, a little thing, you no, know, it's um, the connection right there. But uh, I'm really, Jamie, like, I'm so um, happy for you. I'm really proud of, like, you know, you stuck through everything. You know, you, you know, you stuck to your guns, you did things the right way, you didn't rush for money. And I know uh, many blessings will be coming your way. Um, I hope um, 20, 2022 is going to be a wonderful year for you. And um, before we go, can you let everybody know, like, how can they find you? Where are you available? Um, so that way they can um, you know, get some products. Yeah. So our Instagram is at and flow that and it's the same for our website. It's hustleandflow.co. It's, it's the link in the uh, We're going to be having some um, offers for Black Friday. So uh, we're, we'll be creating all of that over the next week. And then if people can just, you know, if they want to drop in their email, they'll get notified first uh, for some really cool deals that we'll be offering and extending it to the community. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, thank you again, Jamie. I appreciate it so much. I look forward to everything. We got to do this again. Um, after we get the school up and running, I'll be back online, doing a lot more lives. So we got some fun. Um, but no, thank you again for reaching out. Like, um, and from for me, um, like you pushing me, you no, know, like doing this live kind of like helps me, right? You know, I'm introverted a little bit. So um, just thank you for like, you know, this is motivation to get up on here and. Um, you know, do this. So I appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful day. I know you got another interview tomorrow. Good luck with that. And Thank you. Yeah, if anybody wants to tune in, it's a bit different. They host it on their platform, um, but we'll have it on our on our stories. Um, it's a night. It's another. It, I, any any time I get invited to do anything like this is really an honor. So thank you because. Um, you were so welcoming, right? When I reached out, I saw you and I'm like, oh, I think this guy knows about the industry or about CBD. <laughs> and I reached out in our first combo, you really want to get to know the reason as to why I wanted to do this. And, and you felt, you know, that I was genuine as to the reasons. And that's how I, I believe that's the reason why you decided to, to help in such powerful, impactful ways. And so 
forever grateful for you and for everything that you do because I know you're a hustler. I mean, you you do it day and night. So thank yeah, really thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And you got to connect with the right people because a lot of people in this industry um, all about money or the wrong things. And I have a lot of experiences. I'm not going to share some of that stuff with you. Um, but uh, being like-minded with individuals are the way to go. And so thank you again, Jamie. I appreciate it. Everyone, please go to Hustle and Flow. That's CO. I'm going to check Jamie out. And uh, have a wonderful day, Jamie. Thank you. You too. Thanks, everybody. And uh, yeah, everybody, thank you so much for checking out. Um, we go to CBD to how for all things education. And those of you who are business, um, please license our, our content, get our books, the plugin. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and um, be safe out there. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody.